Hello and welcome. Every production downtime can cost your company a lot of money and cause a lot of problems. But what if I told you that you could avoid these costly downtimes? Today I will show you how our camera based die protection system can help protect your dies and reduce downtime related costs. My name is Daniel Mittler and I'm excited to welcome you to our online seminar Visual Die Protection – Protecting Dies – Preventing Damage. Imagine a production line suddenly stops. Thousands of euros are lost because a single die failed. And we are not just talking about the cost of repairs, but also unplanned machine downtime, additional die changes and other expenses in your production planning. This is a nightmare for any company. Such unexpected downtimes not only cost money, but can also affect your company's productivity and delivery capability, depending on the potential damage. Therefore, it is crucial that we take action to protect our dies and prevent such failures. This is where visual die protection comes into play. But what exactly does that mean? The visual die protection system is an advanced monitoring system based on high-end camera technologies. It allows comprehensive control and monitoring of your dies, components and transfer systems. Our system can detect potential issues such as foreign objects from broken grippers or guide pins, incorrectly braved parts as well as crap buildup or quality problems at an early stage. It can stop the machine within fractions of a second before a breakdown happens. This precise and rapid response significantly contributes to preventing potentially costly die damage. Moreover, it greatly reduces the associated follow-up costs of such damage. The result is an efficient operation that maintains the availability of your production and optimizes overall performance. Let me show you some practical examples of how our customers benefit from visual die protection and explain how the system works. Let's take this example. We are looking at the last stage of the die where the part wasn't correctly placed by the transfer system. With visual die protection, we can monitor every breast stage to ensure that the parts are properly positioned. In such a case, the system automatically stops the machine and alerts the operator to where the issue is located. This allows the operator to quickly resolve the problem and resume production quickly. Here is another example of an in-process inspection. We are looking at the entry side with the camera where a cut is made in the first stage. Normally, the scrap falls away, but in this case, it got jammed. With each stroke, the scrap is pushed further into the die. Thanks to our cameras, we can detect the scrap buildup, stop the machine and alert the operator to exact location of the problem. This allows the operator to clear the jam and quickly resume production. In this example, a guide from the upper die became detached and remained in the lower die. If the die had closed and pressed down on the hardened part in this condition, it could have caused significant damage, potentially even breaking the die body, leading to production delays. However, thanks to visual die protection, the machine was stopped immediately. The mechanic was able to reattach the guide and resume production without further issues. In addition to the in-process monitoring and die protection, Customers often ask us whether our system can also detect the quality of the parts. Under certain conditions, this is possible. Here are two examples. Example 1. We monitor the critical areas of the part and identify a larger crack on one corner. This crack can be easily detected using the visual die protection system. Example 2. A camera is specifically focused on the last die stage, allowing this area to be precisely monitored in our system. This enables us to detect minor process deviations, such as the small crack of 2 to 5 mm in this example. Visual die protection relies on state of the art cameras and algorithms to continuously monitor the condition of the dies. 
The system compares and analyzes reference images with the current live images within fractions of a second, before or after each stroke. Typically, our system operates at up to 35 strokes per minute, but it can also be used at speeds of up to 50 strokes per minute. Generally, the larger the die's opening distance, the better the visibility inside the die, allowing us to detect and monitor more effectively. On the left side, we see a cycle from 0 to 360 degrees, where the process can be monitored at up to 8 different points in time. Typically, two che checkpoints are sufficient. Point 1, around 70 degrees, when the parts are placed, the transfer system opens and the die closes. At this point, we check whether all parts are correctly positioned and if there are any foreign objects, such as a scrap in the lower die. If a critical deviation is detected, the system immediately stops the machine. Point 2, around 290 degrees, when the die is opening again and just before the transfer system picks up the parts. At this point, we also inspect the process to ensure that no elements from the upper die have detached and that the quality of the parts meets the required standards. When detecting critical deviations between reference and live images, the system responds accordingly. Even the smallest deviations are immediately identified and the machine can be stopped necessary. However, depending on the application, a warning signal such as the activation of a red light may be sufficient without requiring an immediate stop of the machine. A crucial success factor in implementing the system is the camera perspective. Our standard solution includes two cameras. One is typically installed on the entry side and the other on the exit side. The entry side camera monitors the related area while the exit side camera covers the area on the opposite side. This setup allows for comprehensive monitoring of the entire area and enhances the process stability of the system. For particularly large press tables or for monitoring more sensitive areas, up to six cameras can be connected to the system. As you can see, our system is highly adaptable due to its flexible process variants, customizable camera configurations and various timing options. It can be installed not only on Schuler machines, but also retrofitted to third-party equipment. Our system is suitable for block die processes, transfer processes and complete press lines. The retrofitting process is illustrated in the following images. On the left side, we see the compact controlled cabinet, which houses the hardware, including the industrial PC, inputs and outputs, and the power supply. In the center is our control panel, where the system is set up, various monitoring functions are activated and the system status is checked. This is where also user data and product data management are handled. On the right side, we see the camera console with the camera and a protective housing that shields the camera from mechanical damage and contamination such as all mist in the press room. What are the benefits of the system in numbers? Your investment for the basic package is less than 100,000 euros. Since its introduction, the system has been installed and is operational more than 45 times. Some users have reported significant cost savings. Our evaluations show that savings up to 100,000 euros per year per and per press are possible. This means you could achieve a return on invest in less than one year. Over a three year period, you could potentially save up to 280,000 euros by reducing die damage, improving your production availability and minimizing the risk of supply issues. To give you a better understanding of how the system works, I will now provide a live demonstration on a test setup. Here you can see the visual die protection system, which includes the panel, the cabinet and the cameras. In this configuration, one camera is positioned on the entry side and another on the exit side, both directed to the die. Since we don't have a press available here, we will demonstrate the system's functionality using a push button as stroke simulation and monitor a picture of a die. Let's start by looking at the visualization. Currently, we see the dashboard displaying the system status, along with 8 speedo charts. 
each of these charts represent a monitoring function. Regardless of the number of cameras, you can configure up to 8 different monitoring functions per die production data. Since we want to configure a monitoring setting, we click on Settings to access the Settings page. First, you need to select which camera will monitor the die. Our basic package includes two cameras, but the system can be expanded to include up to six cameras. Next, we define the points in the time that you want to monitor. For example, here we have two points set one when the die closes and one when it opens. Depending on application, you can set up to eight different points in time. Finally, we configure the system responses that will be triggered upon detecting a problem. You can choose between an immediate stop, a stop at end of the cycle or a warning message. After setting these three parameters, click on Initialize. Once the machine is running, a reference image is created. This refer reference image represents the good state of the process and you use this image to mark the area you want to monitor. In this example, the region of interest covers the entire image frame, meaning a comprehensive monitoring setup is configured to protect the die from major damage. Additionally, monitoring functions for the left side of the die, the center section, the right area and a detailed monitoring of the centering pin have been set up. Monitoring areas can be defined not only as rectangles but also as circles or ellipses, providing more flexibility in customizing the monitoring zones. In addition, areas can be excluded from monitoring. Once the system is running, the reference image is compared with the current image. The result of this comparison is known as the hit rate, which ranges from 0 to 100%. A 0% value indicates a significant deviation between the current and reference image, such as a mispositioned part. A 100% value means the image are almost identical and no errors have been detected. Depending on the system's sensitivity setting and process fluctuations, a threshold value is established. If the hit rate falls below this threshold, the corresponding machine response is triggered. We will now simulate this scenario. I will place this nut to the die, simulate the die stroke and we will see that two monitoring functions turn red because the hit rate has fallen below the th threshold. Let's see what happened in detail. I will click on settings again and see the marked area in the image where the arrow needs to be located. Here the nut appears as a phone for an object. I can also switch between the reference image and the current image to more easily identify the arrow. Once I remove the nut from the die and simulate the stroke again, everything turns green, everything is back to normal. Earlier, I placed a screw to simulate a simple centering pin. Now, I will remove the simulated centering pin from the die, simulate the trigger again, and we see that this time three monitoring functions turn red. To find, find out exactly what happened, we can look at the image again by clicking on settings. Here, the area where the arrow needs to be located is marked, which significantly helps in troubleshooting. The system allows you to save all parameters and reference images through product data management. Select product data and save the corresponding dataset. When changing the die, you only need to load the existing product data to resume production and monitoring immediately. With the user data management, you can set up different permission levels protected by passwords, ensuring that only approved personnel have access to the system. Another valuable feature is the VDP Analyzer, which you can find under Diagnostics and the VDP Analyzer icon. Suppose something happened during the night shift and you come in the next day to find out what happened. Select the corresponding date and product in the analyzer that was on the machine at this time. In the analyzer, you will see up to eight different monitoring functions. The blue line in the timeline represents the hit rate, 
which is the match between the reference image and the live image. The red line indicates the threshold. When the hit rate falls below this threshold, it means an error has detected. You can scroll through the images, check if for example a nut is in the die or if the centering pin is missing. In summary, Visual Die Protection provides the ability to reduce die damage and further costs by detecting damage causes early and stopping the machine before damage happens. With our flexible camera setup and powerful algorithm, we are confident that we can successfully protect your specific application needs. Our system can be retrofitted as a standalone solution not only to Schuler machines but also to third-party equipment. We are particularly proud of the positive feedback from our customers, as it confirms that our system is highly accepted in the press shop. This is due to two key factors. First, the ease of setup. As shown, only a few steps are required to set up a new monitoring function. Thanks to the product data service, you can reuse these settings when changing the die without needing to redrain them. Second, system toughness. We only stop the machine for truly critical deviations. This means the larger the potential risk of damage, the more effectively our system can prevent it. Imagine how your company could benefit from this technology. Viewer downtimes, longer die life, and overall higher efficiency in your production processes. With additional crack detection, you can ensure your products always meet the highest quality standards and avoid costly recall actions. Are you ready to take the next step and protect your production from unexpected failures? We offer you a unique opportunity to test visual dye protection directly at your press. Book a test day during which we will demonstrate live how our technology works and what benefits it brings to you. We will visit you for one day, install the system temporarily, set up the monitoring function together with you and then simulate your application cases. This means that by the end of this day, you will have the perfect basis for deciding whether this system is suitable for solving your production issues. Visit our website to sign up for a test day at your press or contact us directly for more information and to schedule an appointment. Thank you for attending our online seminar. We look forward to showing you how visual die protection can protect your dies and prevent downtimes during your test day. Goodbye.